you know ketchup bottles? Like, or I mean, of course you know ketchup bottles, but like right when you're at the end of the bottle and you have to squeeze it really hard to get the last ketchup out. <laughs> this is not turning out to be as strong of a metaphor as I want it to be. My name is Simone Yetch, and today we're gonna to talk about period cramps in collaboration with the Kotex She Can Initiative. It all starts with a magical, mystical creature, the unicorn of the belly, also known as the uterus. It weighs about as much as three tennis balls and is roughly the size of a pear, but can expand to the size of a watermelon. There are no other parts of my body that can expand that way. That I know of. And unlike me, <laughs> the uterus is mostly made out of muscle. And those muscles are there to do two things. Push up babies and contract to release the uterine lining and start your period. And that contraction is what's known as a period cramp. Sometimes they're painful and sometimes they're not, but about 83% of people who menstruate are affected by cramps. So if you don't know anyone who's affected by cramps, it's probably just because you haven't asked them. So I did some research and it turns out that the pressure that a period cramp can produce is 2.3 PSI. I have no idea how much that is. <laughs> like 2.3 PSI means less to me than my ex. All I wanna know is how strong a period cramp is. So I made this. It's a period cramp machine slash like a uterus pressure chamber. So I just got four of these blood pressure sensors and I took the air pouches out of them and put them in here. Now I can just shove different objects in here and then pump it up and it will squeeze it with the same pressure as a period cramp. Can we try it? I'm pretty excited to put this balloon in there. I have no idea if it's gonna be able to burst it. Okay, cramp. Okay, it won't pop a balloon. It got it, it got to squish the strawberry. Okay. I just need a moment to recover from my disappointment. It's the last straw, berry. <laughs> this makes no sense anatomically. There's toothpaste for your teeth in your uterus. Oh, look at her go! If this is not art, then I don't know what is. It's me! She's even wearing the same tampon necklace as I am. So we're just gonna put you in here. You just, you just stay there, everything's gonna be all right. Cram. Her. Let's try a can. I'm not feeling terribly hopeful about it based on the performance so far, but um, why not? Empty, just like me. Cramp. Hey, buckle it. It did it, it did it, it did it. There was, there was damage. Can a uterus crush an empty soda can? Seemingly. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I think I expected the uterus to have a little bit more destructive power, but it also makes sense. Like it's not there to hurt you, it's there to contract to shed uterine lining and also occasionally crush cans. And here's the thing, period cramps sometimes hurt. 
even if there's nothing wrong with you. The menstrual cycle was just made that way with some occasional built-in pain and no instruction manual. And that's actually a problem because it means that some medical conditions that cause period pain can easily be overlooked because your doctor is just like, oh, that's period cramps. They hurt, deal with it. No matter if it's caused by an underlying medical condition or not, a good rule of thumb is that if the pain makes it difficult for you to do normal things, then reach out to a doctor. And remember to keep on advocating for yourself. And that's all I have to say about that, period. This period cramp machine was created in collaboration with the Cotex She Can Initiative, an organization that champions women's progress by fighting period stigmas and the barriers they cause.